Hey everyone, Meowsity here. Welcome back. Today we're going to be playing a little bit more on the Darkest Hardcore State. I'm actually going to do a little bit of a recap for, for those of you who don't know what this file is going to be kind of like going forward, because I don't think I've kind of hashed on that since the first episode. But just to kind of cover what I have planned for this episode, I'm mainly going to be covering the Cove, leveling it up, maybe getting to a boss or two, just because I kind of want to cover getting into the apprentice bosses here and maybe next episode getting into the apprentice level bosses of the wield before I get to leveling everyone into veteran stuff and going back to the runes and the warrens and leveling everything else up there because I would prefer everything to be kind of evenly leveled rather than have somewhere lagging behind or something like that. So hopefully I have a blight group ready for that right now. It's going to be a medium. We're going to get some money. We're going to get some buffs. We're going to get the move amulet, which might have its uses for this. I also need to go to the abbey. Throw some people in stress relief because they didn't get enough stress relief last time. So we'll do that. And I believe I have one person who has kleptomaniac. That I want to get treated and Audrey has rabies that we need to get that fixed. So is it Josephine? No, it was Catherine. Where's Catherine? Get back here, you little klepto. I also need to get impulsive off, but I can only choose one at a time. Um, so, okay. So now a little bit of a recap for this. I'll have timestamps in the bottom if you just want to skip to the run. What this estate kind of is, for those of you who are just kind of getting to this channel or just kind of getting to this run, is I've kind of been limiting myself on what I can do with this estate. So first of all, if you haven't noticed, it's only vanilla characters. If this run goes well, by that, I mean this estate, and I get far enough into this state, I will try something like this with modded characters and modded content like Vermintide, things like that. The rules are basically, I have to beat everything. So I have to beat the Crimson Courtyard, all bosses included. I'm not sure on the, I think it's the Garden Guardian in that, just because of how rare the spawn chance in that can be. I have to beat the Farmstead. Then I have to beat all of the champion bosses in every area. I also want to beat the thing from the stars, the collector, and all that jazz, then all the darkest dungeons. All that usually isn't too bad, right? Then we're also on the hardest difficulty, which just knocks it up a bunch. And then the other part of that is that I am limiting myself to how many heroes I can use. And by that, I mean a little bit strange, and I haven't seen this and someone else might be able to correct me here. So I don't know what to call this challenge or anything like that. And quite honestly, I don't care. I'm only limiting myself to two of each type of hero. So for instance, I have Amani and Katana, both shield breakers, right? So if Katana were to die at any point in time during this estate, I could not hire another shield breaker. That's what I mean by I'm limiting myself to, you know, two shield breakers. I'm doing this for every single class. I've already had one occultist die, so I cannot hire another occultist. At any point in time, I'm only allowed two during the run. If one dies, I can only have one more. If the second dies, I can't have any more, if that kind of makes sense. As you can see, um, Al here was my first. Solomon here is my second. I get no more occultists. Silent here was my first musketeer. But if I scroll through my roster i don't have a second musketeer yet so that's why i get a second musketeer the other rule here is i don't get to change out any of my heroes so bach here if i found a level three if i found a level three jester at any point i wouldn't allow myself to change him out for the level three jester which is why i'm also contemplating not upgrading the experience recruits at all but that's kind of the basis of the challenge so i have to do all of that while limiting myself to the heroes, success means I beat all of what I mentioned. Failure is, well, I lost all my heroes. Or rather, that death limit. One of the two. So, that is what it is, and we'll continue from there. So that's just the really quick overview. 
but things have gotten very dicey because of, especially early on, because I wasn't able to hire heroes that I wanted very quickly. Because, as you can tell, that like, hey, I had Reynold as a start, and then I got Arthur very early on. Well, I have a Crusader right here. I have a second... I'm not allowed to hire another Occultist. I have another Grave Robber. I have another Highwayman. So I max on all these, but I don't have a Arbalist at all yet. I haven't been able to hire one. There's other heroes that I don't have one of yet, but since they're not spawning, I don't get to hire them. So that's where this gets a little clogged up and convoluted. So I just got to hope that the right hero comes in the stagecoach until I upgrade it enough. So that's kind of where I'm standing with that. With all that being said, I have everything I think I need for now. And we're going to go into the cove and get this done with. All right, so... I'm always bringing more food than I need just because I want people to survive and that's a source of healing. Bandages for the bleed, medicinal herbs just because it has a bunch of uses in here, some keys, more torches than I probably need, and we will call it that. The smell of rotting fish is all Okay, how do I want to explore all this doohickey? I think I'm going to go down, then up to the left, then come back down and zigzag down, and that'll get me most of the rooms. I think that sounds like a plan. And I don't think I brought enough shovels. Unless uh, chat wood is going to be like that. Oh man, I really want to get rid of Curious, but I don't have enough money or anything yet. Oof. I really need to upgrade the treatment ward. I really need some more money, which means bringing Catherine or Josephine more. Now, what I would really like is if I could get... Now, let's do this with Katana. Highest chance, and she still hit the trap. <laughs> if I could get that um, town event where anyone could come do any of uh, activity, so I could bring my level three heroes in, and then I could just go crush a small event, uh, like probably a long or something like that, and then go bring um, Josephine or Katana, or not, either my um, or they call it. Antiquarians, and then have level threes help them along with the uh, apprentice stuff. That would be amazing. Wow, we are hitting traps. This is not boating well, but we do have a secret door there. Okay, I think I see what I'm gonna do here. Uh, 50. Come on. There we go. Secret door, don't screw me. Come on. I got a key for you. Specifically brought key. Finding the Junio's head. The now it so, must be home. I could up the amount of healing he does. But that's gonna really screw his stress, so I gotta be careful. Stack those, go back up. And I wanna. I think I wanna go to the left and get that curio. Just so I can try to take more away from here. Yes, I want that Curio. Please get rid of Curious. I tried. I tried. The match is struck. A blazing star is born. Alright, fish, medicinal herbs. Uh... I got my medicinal herbs back out of it. Not sure how that works. Okay, so if we go down here. Loot. Uh, we can drop the citrine. I really would just like to get these journal pages out of the way. It's probably never going to happen, though. Okay. 
So what I'm gonna do is captivate the Hosilier. That's three around. Then if we add our kiss, the other cutthroat. That's three around. They're pretty hurt. Then we can blight them. And they'll probably go down on their next. Uh, I'm going to demon pull. Actually, no. What I should do is... Oof. Okay, so if I... Yeah, we'll, we'll just do this. Resisted the stun, but then the cutthroat goes down anyway. One goes down, so we can add her kiss. Oof. We're gonna heal anyway. About to break. Um Manacles you. Good, you're stunned. Then if we add her kiss, the other cutthroat, he goes down. Right, hopefully stress heals. Not who I was hoping, but great is the weapon whatever. Cuts on its own. Then reconstruction. Good, no bleed. We'll do a stress heal on Chatwood. Pierce, and we're somewhat okay. Destroy them all. Am I really almost out of torches already? Okay, that's going to be the play. Then... Is there a treasure room? Not that I can see. I think what I can do then is drop the skeleton key for the money. Do that. Who's faster out of these two? Amani. So we'll have her in front. Uh, I do want to go to this curio. Suppose that might not be worth it. And Katana is faster this time around, huh? Well, let's blight this grouper. There's three. Add her kiss. Hopefully it goes down. That's one. We manacles the one in... Let's go for the one in front. The shield breakers are the one that... Uh, seem to not be doing as well. I say as we take that crit. Mm-hmm. Well, at least we can do this and full heal and de-stress. All right. Well, I mean, go ahead and rip them apart. Couldn't stress heal yourself, though, huh? Um, yeah, we'll stun as a just in case. I don't want to take more damage. Their formation and that's that. Maintain the take the money. Take the torch. Never know what else is in it. Wealth beyond measure. Use the torch. Awarded to the brave and we go. And the foolhardy alike. Down we go. Alright, this one. Oh boy. I think this was uh, holy water or something else. It has a chance to give me a disease otherwise, so screw it. Torch up. In we go. Thrall has to go down. So we'll see here. Oof. I captivate the guardian just to get the blight going on it, because otherwise he gets really tanky. I'm gonna stun the thrall. Just so he doesn't go boom as quickly. We can then artillery. Actually, how much does this move? Pull two? That might be enough for her. For the, you know, shaman. And then add or kiss the shaman. 
annihilated. So no stress. We'll see. Come on, Solomon. We got this. Of course you're paranoid. Why wouldn't you be paranoid? All occultists are. Alright, um... Stun the Guardian so we don't get blood. Then you can heal yourself. At least it didn't bleed him. Add her kiss. That's some blight. Add her kiss again. It goes down. Stress heal, please. These dudes on a little bit on Solomon. A little bit late, but it's something. They really do not like him. If we beast bile, we can hit them both. Devastating blow. I'll take them down bit by bit. Captivate so they don't hit Solomon. He can heal himself again. And there's that bleed I didn't want. At the Guardian. And he goes down on next. I think the grouper goes down on his turn. So, maybe we can crit and heal stress? Give them no quarter. And we can absolution. Slowly, gently. Take what we can. I want the portrait. I'm gonna use the bandage. I'm gonna use the firewood. Beast for the stress. Furtive and vulnerable. Rats in a maze. Of course you're full. Oh boy. Um yeah, unspeakable commune. Encourage. Encourage. Add her embrace. And encourage. Alright. As the light gains purchase. Oh, lovely. Spirits are lifted. And I can get through another one of these. Warning rattle, warning rattle, ply skin. Okay. Lost in the darkness. So what I should do is stun the rattler. It's you that's stressed out, huh? Can we blight the rattler? We blighted the rattler, that's good. Oh, both of you are stressed. Lovely. Um, do they have much dodge? They do. Over well, your stun, so let's do this. A little bit of damage, it's something, right? Okay. 3 and 20, 3 and 16. So I think I want to do... I can't hit ply skin. Let's just make sure no one drops. Captivate. Blight's going. Both of them have six. If I do this, both of them would have nine. Or eight, I suppose. Or I could manacles and stun. And then the ply skin wouldn't be guarded anymore and I could go for it. So let's heal up again. Hopefully no bleed. Okay. Both the rattlers go on their next turn. 
So I only have to go at the ply skin. But I'm gonna stun. Or at least try to. I mean... Probably not going to blight it, but this does more damage. Come on, Amani. Of course you're abusive. Why wouldn't you be abusive? Frustration and fury. More destructive than a hundred cannons. Thankfully, like I said, we just have to worry about the ply skin. The slow death. Unforeseen. Unforgiving. And that's that. Beautiful thing, one of seven. At least Got the venomous vial that I wanted. Which, to be very honest, we should put on someone here. And then get rid of these bleeds. Not that they're doing much to us. How much do we have left? You know what? This is what I'll do. We very much need those deeds. I only have to explore 90% of rooms. You know what? I'm gonna go down. Stupidly. And there's a thing to get rid of some quirks. That's nice, because we need Chatwood. Okay, stunning. Let's go at the Shaman. And Thrall needs to go away. One crit did that. That helps with stress. Then we can reconstruct heal. Solomon goes back up. And we'll get the grouper since he does damage on his next turn where the shaman is stunned. And then we can stun him. He goes down. And we can take out the shaman. Well then. I mean, probably not what I would have done, but it works. As the enemy crumbles. As the fiend falls, a faint hope blossoms. Take what I can. I'm very tempted to get rid of a few things here, but I'll not. Then with you. No, don't, don't. Well, that worked well. And there's a key I could have used. <laughs> lovely. Lovely, lovely. Okay. So we're gonna pull the shaman in range. Stun the thrall. Changes things a bit. Thrall goes down to blight. And shaman does not. And we got a barnacle barrier. We're gonna have to stun the guardian to get at the shaman. Which we can easily do. Then I suppose we better heal. They really want Solomon dead. All right, please, 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 Shaman. Thank you, thank you. I 
get Blight on Guardian. Six damage total to him. If we Demon Pull, he can only attack the Shield Breakers there. Which might have been a mistake. Please stun. Thank you. Light Guardian. Heal up Mani. That is a Mani, right? Yep. Good thing, because he probably would have taken her out there. Finish off Guardian. Finish off Grouper. Or not. Stun Grouper. How do you stop it? Great, now they're both paranoid. The walls close in. The shadow. Actually, I guess one's abusive, one's paranoid. And you're paranoid. Of course you would. Of course you would. Well, let's just end this. Take what we can. Be wary. Use the bandage. Pride precipitates a dizzying fall. Hey, get rid of the shovels. I'm gonna regret it. But I would really appreciate that money. So instead, we're gonna do that and regret it even more. Oh, continue adventuring. Can I pop that with the shovel? I can't. Can, which is nothing. Pop the shovel, close that. So I'm going to do something very silly here. I mean, we got that. They can eat. There's our hunger check. Come on. What's in here? No scout? Really? Darkness closes in, haunting the hearts of men. There's the shovel. I really shouldn't be continuing. I don't have another hunger check on me. I just realized that. Alright, so we're going to stun the blood letter. Try. Pierce, let's get the fusilier. No. Uh-oh. This could be bad. This could be bad. Palpable fear. Solomon, heal yourself. Good. I was about to lose my other occultist, but then you blood yourself. That's not great. Um, can't pierce from there. So, oof. This is a very bad mashup. Retreat. I can't retreat on the first round of combat. Okay. Of course. She's there. We're going to captivate the cutthroat. Goes down by three. Injury and despondence. Bandage. Stage for heroism. Back by two. Or cowardice. That 
can't be used where I want it. So forward by one. This is where things get a little shaky and I'm a little uncomfortable. Adder kiss. It's bladed for six. I think the front row needs to be healed for more. Well then, um, we're gonna go Solomon. Throw goes down at next turn. Yeah, Solomon would be at death store right now, which would cause more stress. Cutthroat goes down, so we might as well try the blood letter. Blood letter goes down if it's blighted, blighted. Can't hit who I want here. If I wait out the blood letter, let's heal, de stress. A singular strike. Not what I would have done, but if it de stresses, I'm fine with it. Captivate. You get blighted. I just need one hit. what we can success so clearly leave the food or is it merely a trick of the light i'm gonna leave here everyone goes down to 100 stress i believe so de-stress chatwood that didn't do what i thought it would yeah i i can't take on that but what i can do might be a little stupid Nope. Okay. This fight is more No one died. I'm happy. This twisted <laughs> cavernous maze. Everyone got a little experience. We got nineteen thousand gold, can I math? Eighteen thousand. Got a bunch of heirlooms once again. Everyone's level one except Abani who hit level two. Clutch hitter, runes foe, rune scrounger. A fresh irritant, the sum. A sanguine memory. And the siren is available, although Eternity's Collar again, huh? I have one of those. So what I might do is go to the cove again, just to um, make it a little more worth going to. And in the meantime, once again, do, 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 do. Catherine, compulsive, get rid of. Then who would I bring to the cove? Because all of them seem to need treatment. I should really reduce some treatment cost here. Gilded icons and dogmatic rituals. There we go. For some, a tonic. Now it's not as bloodshed. expensive to do this. <laughs> And at the stagecoach, I don't believe I can hire any of them. Okay. So once again, that leaves me with who do I, who do I bring to the cove? I could bring Pippin. Claude might not be a bad idea. Laura for blighting. I don't like the fact of not having a bleed or um, not a bleeder, a healer in there. And not many stuns either, but I think we could make it work. Unfortunate that it's um, a medium though. Or I go to the farmstead, one of the two. If I go to the farmstead, there's more options, I think. And I get that out of the way. And I don't remember if that 
that might be the better option here. So let me I'll do Pippin for stuns. I think Junia can go along for now. And then the last thing that she would be able to go along with is a boss before heading to level three. I could be very wrong there, but I can find out and we'll go from here. So let's go into the farmstead and see how bad I do. Really just going to take those, I think. The rest of it, it is what it is. Blight had struck the harvest again that year, and the miller was desperate. He came to me, hat clutched tightly in filthy fingers, stinking of sweat and manure. Seated comfortably in my observatory, surrounded by telescopes and other delicate apparatus, I recognized his misfortune as an opportunity, and I agreed to lend him my expertise. All right. Now, the one thing I don't remember about the initial Farmstead one is, is it just kill like 20 enemies and I'm done? Or is there a number of waves? Because I don't see the like wave thing up there. It might just be kill 20 and I'm done. So they don't have much bleed resistance, any of them. Uh, let's just hound Harry. And actually dog treat it right off the bat. Stun the farmhand. Heal up the people that were just hurt. Keep on top of that. And stunning blow. Extra speed, extra protection, it looks like. We're good, we're good. You missed. Alright, so we're gonna stun the farm hat and who wasn't stunned. Light. And then, oh, no repulse, so we'll do this again. Looks like you go down, you go down. Three of the four go down, so let's buff our accuracy and crit. The blood quickens. Then, nothing happens with them, we'll battle heal her. Uh, we don't got much stress to get rid of, so I suppose four and four. Yeah, we can try to go for the foreman. Once again, not much going on. So let's do this. The slow death unforeseen. Plus dodge minus stress for the entire battle. Stun the foreman. A powerful blow. Take the foreman out. Now he'll bleed out. Slowly, gently. Doing good. This is how a life is taken. If he bleeds out, we'll do a lick wound. And just continue our buffs. A time to perform beyond one's limits. Alright, she obviously needs to heal herself. I'm just gonna let that bleed play out. Battle heal himself. Ooh, 
Ooh, we got stunned and blood. Uh, we're gonna stun the horse. A devastating blow. Then we still have the treats going, don't we? No, we don't. But let's hound Harry again. I'm bleeding. Very good chance of just taking one of the farmhands out, so we'll do that. Seed of Madness. AoE again, bleed him out. Stun the farmhand. He bleeds out on next turn. Pippin, my man. Confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. Oh, there we got some horror. All right, another dog treat, another hound Harry, get them all bleeding. Well, except for the scarecrow, I don't think scarecrows can bleed. <laughs> Uh, we'll do Retribution this time, since everything is stealthed, and I want to attack back on those that are stealthed. Then... Stun the farmhand. And Accusation. Continue Hit them the both. Unslaught. Destroy them all. Plow horse is almost down. It goes down next turn due to bleed. I do not want the aberration going off, so there we go. Cleansed from our lands. There is that. And plop. A victory. Perhaps the turning point. So I suppose AoE heal. Battle heal. Harry, get him bleeding. Well, now you're just hurting yourself. Uh, we're gonna stunning blow on the one that we can hit. There we go, it bleeds out. Since he can't do much, probably should have upped for a retribution there, but whatever. Uh, stun Precision. that one, now it goes down before. It does another turn. Oh, so now we just got to deal with the Scarecrow and one more farmhand. Blight is manageable. Bleed the other farmhand, it bleeds out. The weapon that cuts on its own. Retribution back up. A decisive pummeling. Because we're probably going to take that Scarecrow out. Uh, let's top up. And then... A faint hope blossoms. Scarecrow goes away. Pretty sure that's easy to break with his sword there. <laughs> Alright, let's stun the one in back. Then Hound Harry bleeding them all. Okay. And let's stun another one. 
and Reynal, technically you only need to do six to take both of them out. Okay. Give them no quarter. We got the aberrations there. We can deal with those later. Uh, judgment will do farm hand back there. It's bleeding for four, it has five. The accusation, those go down. With impunity. And now I can hit that farm hand. Two for one, we can deal. You bleed out. Their formation is broken. Maintain the offense. Thinking this might be the last round, based on how that progress bar is going. So let's go all in on the plow horse. At least try. It might do um pile of ground there. I was thinking it would go into stealth. Oh, not if we can help it. Crit the farmhand. Okay, two health left. It bleeds out. So go at the farmhand. It bleeds out. Top up just in case. Three up retribution. Monster's size has no intrinsic merit, unless inordinate exsanguination. Holy papers. Is, a virtue? Is that that? Okay, one more it looks like. I can never tell with this progress bar. <laughs> Alright. Rip him to shreds though. <laughs> Shouldn't be too hard. AoE. Oof, we missed. I think I spoke too soon. Uh, we're going to stun. And stun. Uh, we might be able to take him out, actually. And then with the Hound Harry, you probably will between the damage and the bleed. And then we'll stun this farmhand. Singular strike. Now they're all stunned. Re-up retro. Actually, no. Accuracy crit. Hound Harry. you out. There we go. Foolish horrors. Brought low and driven into the mud. Just needed one of them. <laughs> Alright, so we got the 3,000 gold, which I guess kind of paid for some of my supplies. Comet shards, which will be nice. Book of Intuition, which, I mean, has its scouting uses. Although it does not pay for those diseases. Tapeworm, scurvy. Although we did get natural. We got natural swing. Infirm. And something I can't pronounce. No one hit level 3 it looks like. Unless I'm just blind. No, no one there hit level 3. Town is still above. So I have things I need to take care of there. These things did switch out. I can hire another bounty hunter. That is amazing. The the one thing on that list I can still hire one of. Because I have Tardif. I don't have the promise of anything pain. else there for bounty hunters. I have this on my list somewhere. So that'll be nice. Unfortunately, I didn't really expect the farmstead to pay for itself, but it's nice to know that this group kind of works for it. So, I mean, theoretically, I could go back here and get the Miller, but I know that's a veteran. And it looks like I'm just going to have to go to the Wield next time, because I don't really want to go to the Siren right now. I, I mean, I suppose I could go with this group. Realistically, Amani would hit level 3, 
So I would have to be okay with that. I could go back in with this group, go and take out the siren. The rat carcass might not be the worst thing to have on hand as a just in case. There are many better trinkets I would rather have for a boss kill. Like I've been kind of keeping my eye on a bunch of different things, but I'm, I might just go and do that. That'll be it for this time though. As always, I wish you all well. I will see you next time and please have a good one.